Hello everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Block. Today we are going to do various things, but let's get started and have a look at some of the bits we can do with the mob spawner. Well today I actually have quite a few bits and pieces prepared, as you can see. So here we've got a recipe for, this is actually glass, this is the, um, which one is it? The tinted glass, which is designed to prevent light, tough enough to withstand withers. So that's pretty good, actually, because it's really cheap. Glass or glass and charcoal or coal will make four of these. So <laughs> let's just take that out of here like this. We could actually make some of this up. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with it just yet, but we'll make, we'll make it up anyway. What we've got here, six. So we've got 28 of those now. Um, the next thing on here, let's go back to the chest because I laid out the recipes in the chest here, is actually the XP tap. So XP tap is a way of giving you XP. So let's just, um, actually let's just do it from here and prepare that recipe. Like this, we can click this one in, we should have that recipe prepared. And that needs to go on a tank, so we've got a singularity tank here. And the last of these recipes is this XP drain. So for that we need two eyes vendor, one hopper, one iron bar, and one singularity tank, like this. And then you can craft that. The other recipe for that one, by the way, is if you put it in a crafting grid, if it's got anything in it, it will it will empty it out for you. So this is a way of getting your XP out of yourself and putting it in somewhere else. So for example. Let's put this down. I reckon a good place to put this down, probably by the door. Because <laughs> as you walk in, it takes it takes all your XP away like this. And then we need a way of being able to take that XP and put it back into ourselves. Um, which is easy actually as it happens. Wait for it to empty out. So now I've got no XP, which is always good because you don't want to lose your XP. And there it tells you we've got four, actually nearly five buckets worth. In here we've got these uh, XP Jelly Babies and the XP Jelly Babies we can eat and that will give us XP. So let's just take one of those. I'm not sure I've put that in the best place. Well, I'll be honest with you, let's just eat one of these and see what, how much it gives us. So we get four levels of XP for one Jelly Baby. That's not bad at all. Uh, and in this chest uh, you can see it's getting a weeny bit full. But I did get some feathers. It must be from a... Um, do you call those uh, a um, skeleton? No, not probably not. It's probably uh, a zombie jockey. So there we are. So anyway, we can take this. In fact, as it happens, because we can then actually make a width upgrade. You can see I've got reasonable amounts of stuff in here. I've got fourteen glowstone dust. That's actually interesting. Must be witches spawning in here. Don't see any redstone dust, but we get quite a lot of bits and pieces anyway. So that's that. So. I'm, I haven't decided where I'm going to put this, the tap yet, but we just put the tap on some glass, uh, on a tank on some glass like this. Actually, just maybe it's not a good idea, but I think we can break this without it emptying anything out. So that's pretty good. So what we can then do is, for example, put the a tap on some uh, on a tank like this. Maybe it needs to be higher up. I'm not sure. You just put your tank on here like that, and then you can turn it on and it off. And it will actually drop XP out of there. So if the tank's got any XP in it, with it drops it out, and we get it into ourselves. Anyway, an aside. So the other bits and pieces here, I've got these entity converters. Let's put those in this chest here. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with those yet. I've got some entity converters. We got some mob fans as a reward last time. I've got some iron spikes for mini utilities. Now that's an interesting mod. Let's have a look at this one. Mini utilities has quite a few interesting bits and pieces in it. Um, have I got something else in this search engine here? No. Okay, yes, right. So these are these are other enchantments from Mini Utilities. But of course it has uh, Cursed Earth, which I'm definitely not ready to do yet. We haven't got a Wither Rose. Wither Rose we basically get from Photogenic Isolator Loot. If we get lucky, we'll get some loot from, from Loot. There's 9% chance from a Pulsating Crate. So have to find a pulsating crate. Here's Blessed Earth, and what this one does is spawns passive mobs. Actually, I could look it up in here. That's quite easy to do. We've got some block of iron. We'll do that. Won't do too many of those. And this one here is Blessed Earth. So that is a semi-stable ingot from Mini Utility. It's actually not too difficult. One diamond, one stick, and one iron ingot. And that will spawn both uh, all mobs. So maybe that's good to put in the spawner. 
when I've got prepared. And then you've got all these other things like unstable blocks, white lapis. I'm not even sure what that would be used for. <laughs> or maybe it's just as a, a is it just a building block? It looks like it's a very bright building block. Anyway, oh five five recipes. So you can also have that as a cover. Um, okay, fine. I think it's I think it's mostly a building block anyway. And then you've got light grey lapis. How do you pronounce that? Kaleosite or Kale? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to look at that just now. But we've got the spikes, as you can see already, going right up to netherite spikes. Then we've got these mechanical miners. Uh, and these are the mechanical miner. I guess you can do some quantum quarrying. I don't know about the stipulations. We're certainly not ready to do that one for a long time. But I'm not sure if these are sort of things that actually mine real earth or mine, because there isn't any in this mob pack, of course, or mine virtual do some virtual type mining. There are some virtual miners here in, in the pack, I think. And then we get the different types of orbs which get clustered together, infused boots, infused leggings, unstable helmets. How much, actually, unstable chest plates, not bad. Plus eight armor. Maybe that's one of the better ones, so you probably get a decent amount on that. Anyway, for the time being, I'll leave that. I'll have a look at that. Maybe we'll do some blessed or blessed earth. We could put some there and then we'd get some leather drops and all the rest of it, which might be quite handy. So here is the next recipe. So what I'd like to do is we'd like to make these diving masks. Um, let me just sort my inventory out a bit here. So the diving mask is, we made all this stuff up before, just last episode, we found out we could make some titanium ingots and some mesh, fiber mesh. So for, that was from kelp. So we can craft all of these up here like this, and I've basically got them already prepared. Oxygen tanks, leggings, and some flippers. And then for those, we could then use those in these recipes. So actually, this is a rebreather. So this increases the maximum diving depth and to 100 meters. Now, we are at level 32. Um, I can turn the mini map on like that. So it tells we're at a level 32 here. Turn it off again because we don't know what the top one is. The top one's 120. So that just allows us to come down to here. So that's no big deal. We can actually use this one to come down here. So that looks slightly different. It's got a brown bit in it. The next one along here is the high capacity oxygen tank. And it actually just give you armor protection as well. So what's the armor protection with this one? five and this one is five so you don't get any improvement okay the next one of these was missed okay it's just like it's just basically silver and lead on some wetsuit leggings will give the improved speeds and this improves the mining speed by 30 percent that actually is really significant and the last one of these is the, the flippers so we get an increased swim speed so we're now actually going at 33 percent or one third more than we would do normally all oh, these, oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize all crafting tables were linked together. So here's the next one. It was the sea moth, but it's not got a battery in it. We need to power some of these before I make those. I know I've got another battery here because we could actually make the battery, but I've got let's do that. So that's the battery. That wasn't too complicated either. That was the recipe for this one. I oh, should have looked at it. it, was just copper, silver, and titanium. We've got plenty of that, no big deal. And these were blocks. So we need to charge this up. So <laughs> now I can actually swim and escape from here, but I would actually like to use a sea moth. So what I'm going to do for the time being is I'm going to put the stuff that I've just built in here with my um, uh, mystical agriculture stuff. I'll just leave it in here, because basically I'll leave it there for the time being. And then maybe with these, we could upgrade those, to, or the uses of those, the two uses, we could use this one to make the reinforced swim which gives you a well basically it's one extra armor and armor toughness as well so those are really quite strong uh, flippers so when we're outside it's, it's night time and when we're in the sea moth we don't need oxygen we just need power so that maybe that's why you can just use the ordinary ones to start with but let's get on with what i want to do next 
So we need some power. Now, in order to do power, I was going to use, um, I think we'll use uh, mechanism, mechanism, because mechanism's got quite a lot of different ways of doing power. So let's have a look at mechanism. So what we need to do, actually, let's not do it that way. Let's go to the quest book here and then have a look at mechanism as a, as a mechanism for how we do it. So here we've got mechanism here. So the, it tells you how to do it. So we need, first of all, the metallurgic infuser. So we can have a look at the recipe for this. Click to view the recipe. So that's two furnaces, iron ingots, four iron ingots, redstone and the osmium ingots. Actually, dead easy. Let's, let's see if we can do that. I think metallurgic infuser. We should be able to see that in here fairly quickly. Yes, we can, good. And we can craft it in. So we've made our foot this, but we need this needs power. So let's go back to the quest button. It'll give us a clue as to which we need. Now we can do for the power. We get a random reward for getting the site. Rubber seat. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> actually, that is a pretty good one. Because um, that actually also completes another quest. So all of these here are the low level machines and the ones on the outside are the higher a higher level as you can see guess from that so obviously a solo generator is probably not practical uh in this particular case energy energized smelter that's just a smelter osmium compressor that's probably quite handy a crusher now a crusher is good to have i would like to make a crusher a combiner uh and a heat generator the heat generator to look at this recipe we could also do because that's also just using copper uh, any any form of planks, iron ingots, osmium ingots, and a furnace. Let's see if we can make that one up. So what well, this was a generator. We've got lots of generators and mechanism, hmm, a reasonable amount anyway. So we need a heat generator. Let's give us power. We could in fact use power from the um, uh, from what we've already got, which was over here. So this generator here is just an integrated dynamics generator using coal. This one's going to use something similar. But we're going to set it up. We'll set it up over here to start with. I should really put the stuff I work my rewards away, in, first of all. So we just need a heat generator. We'll put that down, I think, here. We'll, and then you've got different faces on this. So the first face here is is one face and we can put against this the metallurgic infuser we need to do that because without it we're not going to get very far at all you see this isn't got any power in it so it's empty uh, and the button dump dump here dump stuff out we could go through that i actually did a whole series of that mechanism but it was for minecraft 110 so it's probably changed a bit since i last did it so now we need some fuel for that what have we got here Playable block of coal. Let's just put some coal in it. Seven, a six will give fifty-four, and we can put that into the generator, and then we can make our first bits of mechanism. Unfortunately, I'm going to be running around a bit, but never mind. So as you can see, this is now generating lava. I wonder if I can put lava into this. Let's just have a look. Have we got any lava about? I wanted to do it on here actually and I've got an extra chest. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put I've got this singularity tank with me and I haven't left it over here. Let's put let's go and get the singularity tank from here. Um nope, I haven't got it. I've got rid of get rid of the glass and the spikes. Oh it's up here, isn't it? Oh well okay. Let's just break it. I mean, it's not gonna be any use here to us at all. Like that. Good. Oh yeah, I'm doing this bit, aren't I? So if I break this, I'll lose its contents, which I don't want to do really. It's just it's only it's only it's actually only one uh, mob essence, so or mob thing. It's not exactly expensive, so I probably could throw it away. So let's put this on the on him. Now the advantage of using a singularity tank on here is the same as this one. You can attach a pipe to it. So now we just need um, some more cast iron. Uh, they're in here. A iron pipe, and this should actually produce some lava because I've already got the lava running on here. Click right click that, and this connects in as you see. And this should have lava running in. Okay, let's stop that one because we've run out of essence. Let's start the lava going. 
the lava in here is going to be very slow so it doesn't it's going to take a while oh i know where i can get some lava from i've got another i set up behind behind here as well another another lava generator <laughs> and i've got some fluid in here i've got a bucket of lava here so we can use that So let's see if we can see if we can put this into the heater. It'd be quite nice if we can. Let's try right clicking on it. Uh, can we put it in here? Oh yes, we can. Fantastic. And that produces. I don't know how much power that produced, but you'll see that's going up. So this thing is nicely powered up now, as you can see here on the on the right hand side. It's got 8k of Fe forge energy. So what we now need to do is to make the next items in here. So what we would like to do is to make some form of energy storage. So let's have a look at uh, mechanism again and have a look for, I think it's called flux. But it's been a bit of a, bit of a long time. Oh, maybe not. These are all tanks with different things in it. Why would that show up as flux? I'm not sure. Oh, fluid, of course, yes. No, not flux. Let's have a look. Energy. Oh, yes, here we go. So the low level one of these is a basic energy cube. So for that, we need some redstone, that's no big deal. Some iron, that's no big deal. And some of these energy tablets. And the energy tablets are redstone gold, but this infused alloy. So this infused alloy is some alloy plus iron. So redstone plus iron, we'll do that. We'll do that first of all. Let's go and get the ingredients for that. But I'll get those ingredients and come back in a second. Okay, so now I have plenty of materials for this. Uh, in fact, what I'm going to do is put down one stack of redstone. That'll fill this up to a reasonable amount. And then half of those we're going to make into iron ingots, which is then going to make the um, enriched alloy, I think it's called, something like that. We'll see in a second. It's the, it's the red ones. <laughs> Infused alloy, that's it. So we'll let those run through. The next recipe on this was this basic induction cell. Um, oh, wrong one. Where's it gone to? No, we want this one. Basic energy cell. So we need to make a steel casing. For that, we need steel ingots. And the way you make steel ingots, again, is in the energized smelter. We should be able to make that in the... in here. Oh. Oh, hold on. Maybe we have to... Oh, I know what we have to do. We need steel grit. Now we can make the steel grit in here. So we take some enriched iron, enriched iron and a block of coal. Um, does it tell me what the ingredients are? Not really. So enriched iron is simply iron that's been run through. Um, oh, we have to do it twice. Okay. So you just put, basically make that will make, so coal, whatever, plus some iron will make enriched iron. Put it through again with coal, then we'll get another one. What's happened to this? run out of power okay so that used all the power up already my goodness that's a lot of power it's used up let's shift uh, I'll shift these into here <laughs> that's not very efficient <laughs> I thought it was more efficient than that but you can add upgrades in here and one of the upgrades you can is speed and you can also add so the supported upgrades muffling speed must be efficient energy there you are so you can add an energy one in here as well so if you don't like the noises you can put in mufflers oh that's actually it's so already run out of materials my goodness it's using a lot of materials tell you what i'm going to make some um more charcoal or maybe char maybe coal we've got plenty of wood essence coming in here like that and i've also made some um a coal seed so the coal seed is going over here like this and we shall have some coal i don't need very much coal i don't think probably 32 is a good i'll take it i'll take them all and then we can make up some coal I, or maybe charcoal if i remember rightly you just put this in the middle here and then you put the coal in the middle you make some charcoal so we get yeah that's not too bad. one and a half stacks for a eight so we can then put those into here like this and keep this clicking in and while that's while that's running through I'll let the heat generate it. we'll go and get some more wood essence in fact I'll fill up my wood essence 
and I'll be back in a minute when I've got to I'll let this finish and I'll be back in a minute when this is done its business well that used to turn the power <laughs> I have to be honest with you it, I didn't need, it was one stack of redstone it was basically produced one stack of and iron produced that so what I would like to do now is to make some steel so I'm not going to use up so many this time we'll just do a half a stack put that into here so we get then get oh, 640 so we'll put in I think we'll put in a quarter stack of iron and see what happens hopefully this isn't so expensive on fuel um, because it's basically very expensive we need a few of these we don't actually need that many to be done on we, we needed a frame didn't we so let's have a look basic energy cell was cube is this one so we need four plus structural grass oh that's glass which is just glass with cast iron ingots we'll produce four of those so we just need four plus an osmium okay while that's cooking as you can see it's cooking let's go and get the um cast iron ingots now the cast iron ingots are actually quite easy to make they're in here the recipe I've been using for those is in the tempered glass uh, in the tempered glass here so we basically 16 iron plus one coal give 16 cast iron ingots so we have a bit to do and we just oh, we needed some glass didn't we so let's just make that up but we can do that in here as it happens so we need this so we needed I just Really? Got no glass in there. Why haven't I got any glass in there? So I just need some sand. Hopefully we've got some sand in here. Yes, we've got a stack of sand. Let's shove that into here. I also put up the um, Prudentium uh, furnace. So that one coal, by the way, cooked up 10 stone. So I guess that that's not too bad. So now we're going to put in, I'll put in 32 charcoal here and we need a stack of this. We'll put it in. So we'll probably use about six charcoal. So we'll see. I need four pieces of glass. I thought I had some glass around here somewhere. It can't be in this chest. I've got tempered glass in here. Maybe, maybe just a, maybe I was just dreaming. I've got some glass panes. Maybe I just used them all up. Here I've got. So I, oh yes, I put in some fruit. Some of the foods that was produced in those two chests there from the earlier botany, botany hoppers. So what do we got here? We've got four. And let's take out four. Oh, it takes out five. So I'll have to remember we've taken out five. Oh, we're now only 64, don't we? So we're just having a look how much fuel it uses. Right, sorry. So, oh, what did I click there? Ultimate crafting. Okay, don't want to do ultimate crafting yet. So we need these structural glass. Is it glass? So we can do that. We get four of those. So then we need the steel. So let's go and see if we've got any steel. Oh, we've got iron, first of all. It's probably run out of fuel. Oh, we've got 16. With a bit of luck, it will just do the last one of these. Yeah, fantastic. So we can then put those back in again, and we should start to get steel. This is going to run out of fuel. <laughs> Let's go get some. I've got some I've got some coal in here. I will take a stack of that. It's, oops, it's used all my... Oh, no. I've got no space, have I? Ah, oh, rubbish. Tell you what, what can I put in? What can I put in here for the time being? Nothing. Oh, dirt. Oh, what did I just put some structural glass around? Didn't I? Hopefully this dirt keeps doesn't break when you put it in. Um, let's put the chests in here. That, that little bit of stuff in there. So I've picked up. Have I picked up a stack? Yes, how good. Right, let's put this. I put a hopper on the side of this. We can put everything into the hopper. We can put it directly in here. If we put it directly in here, that's no big deal. So now we've got 480. I think that is probably about right. So it's 10, isn't it? So maybe it does 32. So we need four of these, and then we can make the the frame like this oh actually while we're doing that we should be able to make up the tablets as well so the tablets we've got the ingredients we need for those now so let's have a look i've got some gold i've got some glowstone uh, uh glowstone i've got some redstone i've got some alloys let's make up two tablets they don't stack i don't think let's do two of those 
No, they don't stack it. I, got, I had a feeling they weren't going to stack. So in this chest, well, I mean, let's put away some of the bits I don't really need with me at the moment. No, but, oh, yeah. So we actually have a bit of a bit of inventory space. Um, these rubber seats, I can actually make those. They're not difficult while we're waiting for other things. So here, it's just rubber and prudentium essence. Rubber is made with vines and a bucket of water. So eight of those will make that. Vines are actually made with three essence. So you get, well, two of those, essence, nature essence, will produce enough vines to make that. We've obviously got to do them in batches at 12, but that's not a big deal. So this is now, <clears throat> should have now completed. We need, we've got, oh, we've got eight. I got ten. All right, that's more than enough. I should be able to smelt this in the blast furnace, and maybe even even smelt it in the presentium furnace for that matter. I'm not sure if they will smelt into here. They certainly will smelt in the blast furnace. So let's put them in there. Let's put eight of those in there. Yeah. So now we get our steel ingots. Fantastic. So four of these, and then we can make the um, the basic energy cube. The reason we need the basic energy cube, we can then charge up the the, the tank or the battery, or the, or the energy cell, whatever it's called. Uh, I've got some more minerals in here. That's minerals. I've got some more metals in. Let's just put these away for the time because my inventory is getting a little bit full. So and I'll put the um, I'll put the seeds in the mystical agriculture one here like that because I'm going to plant those in another botany pot since we can actually make them and we'll get rubber so right where is it how are we doing with this stuff right we've got eight didn't they went pretty quick those did didn't they so now we should be able to make this up I need to make this so we've got our steel casing fantastic and then we should be able to make this so we've got our basic energy cell. So that actually stores 1.6 million. Now what we can do with this, the reason I did it like this, um, it's got plenty of fuel in here. So let's, and I've got some more of these. How much coal has it got in here? I probably need to put another set of iron in there. I'll tell you what, I'll do that. And I'll be back when everything's completed. Right, well, this is just finished. There's a little bit of power in here, but not very much. So what I'm going to do is break this generator. And we're going to put beside this now the energy cell. I'm pretty sure we can put on the energy cell with the, the um, heater. So let's do that. Hopefully it can all connect in. Like that. And then this should actually get some power. In fact, it's actually got the power. Oh, so it didn't lose the power when I broke it. That's fantastic. Okay, now... We should be able to put into, if I shift click the power cell in here, it should start to get power. And it, but it, yes, it is. So all I need to know now is fill up this with some more fuel. <laughs> I'm a bit short on fuel, I've got to be dead honest with you. Um, have we got here? No, we've got another 44. That's half a stack worth, so we can get some wood out of here. Half a stack of that. So. And then we can craft this into charcoal and we basically should be able to power this up. Uh, I, I'm sorry about I did actually not expect the generator to use up so much fuel. So we get 48, so let's put those into here. And the hopper, by the way, does keep up. So let's put the hopper on top of it. Probably as good as any place. So this has now got... 45 fe this will slowly power up as power as time goes on and in fact it's already used all that fuel up <laughs> uh, tell you what i'll be back as soon as i get this filled up well i'm going to need a lot more fuel than i've got but what you can also do is you can take these lava caps or lava fluid containers containing lava and you can put those into the hopper and that will actually get put into here so that's pretty good that's one way to do it so i'm going to be making some of this but i'll finish this off last time next time but we do have enough of materials so let's just finish this last craft off here so we can make the sea moth no power cell so it needs we've gone through the ingredients it needs 
silver is no big deal. We just sift for that stuff. And then we can put this down. It's a tiny little thing, but it's not when you put it down like that. It's, it's a big thing. So you can get into it. Okay, and then we should be able to see um, somewhere or other. It should have a control panel. That's what I can't remember how to use this. Let's press the control. So there is a control for it. And then you can actually see the fuel. Does it just right click it? No, I can't. Press shift to dismount. But we should be able to see the, the, the controls. Hold on, let's have a quick look at the controls and see what we can find out for better diving. So category diving. Uh, okay, descend is a button, but there's no, I'm sure we can see the control for this one. Uh, but I don't know how to do it now for the time being. Because it should have an inventory. And I don't see the, pa oh, maybe we need to put a battery into it. So let's take the battery over here, because it said no power, didn't it? Um, the power cell. I know it's only charged up to 5%, but that doesn't make any difference. We should be able to see that when we right click this. I think we can right click this onto the thing. Um, right click it. I'm stuck. Sorry, I've forgotten what, <laughs> I forgot what we have to do with this thing. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll figure that out. Next time we'll have a look at this again in more detail and hopefully go to the surface. Well, that actually didn't take too difficult. It wasn't too difficult. You press E for the inventory and you can put the, the, the power cell in here. And on the bottom here, you can see that the amount of fuel that we're using, uh, we've got left, which is not very much at the moment. So we won't, we won't go diving with just for the time being, but that's how you do that. Um, which is useful. I was, I had difficulty finding it first time as well when I was doing some testing. Well, that's it for this episode. Let's just put the, um, the helmet on or the diving mask on. You'll see that the oxygen level should increase as we get... Well, I don't see it. In fact, I did last time when I put it on. Maybe it's already charged up. So we're now ready to go diving. We've got the sea moth. We just need to fill this up. And there is a, something I would like to do with the mechanism before we finish that. And we would like to make the crusher, which is actually not too difficult. These are basically basic control circuits, which we make with... Uh, redstone and osmium ingots instead of iron will make these. I'm going to make up some of those between the episode. But with the crusher, if we look at the uses of this, we can crush def different things. And one thing we can crush, obviously we can crush netherrack and all the rest of it. Uh, let's have a look. There's actually quite a lot of recipes in this. I didn't expect there to be so many. Um, we can make ender dust and we can make flux dust. That's good to know for later on. Is this one here? We can make biofuel. So we can make biofuel from tall grass, from peonies, from birch leaves, whatever. And we can make these fairly easily. And the biofuel, we can then use it and make a biogenerator. And the biogenerator, we can use that as, a, as another generator. Um, and with this biogenerator, it produces much, but it's much more efficient on fuel. So I'll, I'll prepare that for next time as well. So that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.